Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install guest editions for Parrot OS on VirtualBox. Now, this is a follow-up video, and it's assuming that you already have Parrot OS installed on your VirtualBox. Now, if you haven't done this already, we've put a link in the description below to show you how to install Parrot OS on VirtualBox. So with that in mind, let's get started. So we're going to begin at the Parrot OS desktop inside VirtualBox. So this is already up and running. We've uh, booted up the system. Uh, we're running it on a Windows 10 PC. And what I can do is I can just resize this so you can see everything properly here. Okay, so there it is. It's on a Windows 10 PC and we'll expand it. And as you can see, we have spaces on the side. So one of the main reasons why we're installing the guest edition package is to get rid of all these extra spaces and allow it to full screen. The first thing we're going to do is go up to devices and then we're going to install the guest edition CD and it's going to automatically load in here. And the best way to find it is to go into a file explorer and we're just going to open this up here and you can see under devices, here is the guest editions image. And what we're going to need to do right now is highlight the uh, entire contents inside the folder. We're going to right click on it and we're going to copy it. Now we're gonna paste it into the virtual machine and it could be anywhere. Uh, we're gonna do it inside documents and we're gonna first make a folder so it can be easily found. And I'll just call it um, guest add, anything. You can call it anything as long as you know what it is. And uh, we're gonna open up this folder and we're gonna paste everything inside it. Okay, so we've pasted the contents and just to be sure, um, if you go down to the bottom, it says the total of contents is 31 items. Uh, let's just go back to the guest edition image. We'll just highlight everything again and just make sure, yeah, 31. So we did copy everything over. We don't want to miss anything because it won't work properly. Um, at this window, you can just uh, right click anywhere in the, the background and then go down to open in terminal. So the next step is to go into terminal and we want to just list the files that are in here. So we can type in LS and then enter. And then we're looking for the VBox Linux edition dot run file. Um, and it's going to be in here. And what we want to do is just highlight it and copy it. Okay. And now we want to make sure that we can make this file executable. So what we're going to type in is ch mod space plus x space. And then we're going to paste in the file name and hit enter. And now we want to run it. And we're going to do that by typing in sudo space sh space period forward slash and then paste it again. Hit enter and it's going to ask us for our root password. So this is the root password, not your user password. So make sure you type in the right password here and then hit enter. And it's now it's going to start installing the guest editions package. So this might take a couple of minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. I'm just going to jump to the end so you don't have to watch the full thing install. It's just going to be text scrolling up. Okay, so now it's installed and we can see here that it says running the kernel module will not be replaced until the system is restarted. So we'll have to shut down the, the virtual machine and reboot the computer. And you can either do that by uh, going down to the bottom left hand corner and selecting restart or you can just type in reboot here and hit enter and it's going to shut down the virtual machine and boot back up. Uh, when you get to this menu, you can just let it time out. It takes about five seconds. You don't actually have to select anything here and it's going to boot back into the operating system. Okay, and here we are back at the login screen. We're gonna type in our user password here, hit enter, and it's gonna load back in. So now everything has been refreshed on it and it's, uh, we can say no to the updates. Um, so it doesn't refresh automatically if you just reboot it from the terminal. So what you have to do is just minimize it, reopen it, and it'll automatically refresh. Now, if you actually just power down the virtual machine and reload, and boot it back up, it'll automatically resize. 
I'm just a bit lazy. So let me just uh, change the background here just so we can see the difference. So let me just change the background here. And there you go. Now, if you want to just go into full screen mode, you can go to view and then full screen mode and then switch it. And it takes up the entire screen now. So you can boot it up right now so it, it looks like it is your desktop and you can continue doing uh, work this way. This is way more convenient and a lot of people when they install a virtual machine, this is the type of desktop that they want to look at uh, when they've completed the install. Uh, so that's how you install Guest Editions for Parrot OS on a virtual box within a Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions or any comments, you can put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.